This podcast is part of the Big Heads Media Podcast Network. Go to BigHeadsMedia.com for more great podcasts. Today, the TIFO Podcast is proud and honored to welcome skating royalty, Ty Babylonia and Randy Gardner. Joined by two-time Emmy Award-winning choreographer, my lovely wife, Sarah Kawahara. I am Jamie Alcroft here with Danny Mann and your host, Louise Palenka. Thank you, Jamie, for that impressive pronunciation of my name. Thank you. (laughs) Now, did you know that when you Google Ty and Randy, you will Uh find trillions of pages of search results? The first is this video on Randy Gardner's YouTube page or someone that has the same name as you. Because mm-hmm. if you Google Randy Gardner, you also find a guy who stayed as- awake for right. a couple of weeks. I don't know. Yeah. I don't know what his Which deal is. Which is not easy. That was not me. But it's not him. <laughs> he gets plenty of rest. He's oh, fine. So we're going to click on YouTube. Oh. oh, what's happening here? That is so, the World Championships in 1979 in Vienna, Austria. And what are you feeling in this very moment? Well, actually, if you look at my hands, uh, there is a rosary. Me being the good Catholic oh. girl. That was my good luck rosary, and I think I'm going to throw it up. Well, no, they cut. Yeah. So thought... now we're... Oh, oh, uh, oh commercial. Oh, is it what we're Here missing? Here we go. The te- the, 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 Are you the showing team? the whole thing? No. Oh, yeah, we're going to talk all the way through <laughs> oh, it. Oh, yeah. okay. All right. Yeah, I, I, thought thought playing, I, I thought you were about to say. The outfits, the outfits <laughs> are throw, on point. Throw the Here dice we go. There. Okay, wait. The Here outfits yeah. Yeah. are at the Smithsonian. <gasps> Tucked away in a drawer in the... Which drawer? I don't. We don't know. They're well, they the have socks. them up on display. They it, rotate their stuff, oh. right? So sure. we've been there twice when they've been up. And one time we were they, there, and they, and they couldn't were, find they, them. Well, they couldn't find them. <laughs> they had them cataloged, but they were in a drawer <laughs> somewhere. Like, Did they show you the drawer? They they couldn't find the drawer. There was like, <laughs> I think they were in a box up high. I hope they're in a box. Well, up my God, high. Yeah. That'd be they're good. there. Yeah. That's what you say. tell I went yourself. To the Smithsonian yeah. Yeah. In a box up high. They're safe though. We have your things. Yeah. Yeah. You are rotating the costumes right now. Look at this. That's what that yeah. move is called. That was a split double. Twit. So I have a question: if you're, if you, if you've got enough momentum going, Randy, is that make it easier to lift a person, an entire person? Absolutely. Okay. Yeah. Speed helps the lifts. So do you learn about oh. physics when you're learning ice skating? You do. Skating? Okay. You do, and this I even think about spin. it today. Right. Look yeah. at that. Look at this. There's, there's look at this. So many oh my physics gosh. in skating. Oh my goodness. It's so oh my god. One handed. Well, what makes <sighs> also because Randy and I are so similar in height. You know, the Russian and East, East German pair teams were, the, the guy was 6'2", and the, the partners were 5'1". Or, yeah, they called it midget throwing. So that, that <laughs> yeah. you know, we had to make up because we couldn't do some of the, What are you... <laughs> midget throwing. That's what they called you. <laughs> okay. It sounds better Russians. in Russian. Right. Oh, my God, Throws Sarah. Midget. How dare you? How did Sarah do I don't... I <laughs> wonder that often. Throw double axel. That's a double well, That was great. I think she pretends she doesn't hear him half the day. <laughs> She's doing that. She doesn't pretend. She's she watching doesn't. Ty and Randy. <laughs> now, what, so, was that, what was that called again, Ty? That, that last move. What is this called? That's wow. a parasite. That's how we make babies. Wow. Okay. Right. Wow. And oh, see, back then gorgeous. in the olden days, in the 70s, we did five minute long program. Now, when you uh, come no. out of that. They don't do that anymore. That how long baby are they making now? spin. Do you, are you dizzy? Oh, or do you, if when you keep moving, does that help you not be dizzy? Or are you supposed to focus on a certain point? You can get dizzy. Uh, you get used to it, though. Mm-hmm. But you know what's funny? Now that when you don't spin or do the spins after a while mm-hmm. and you come back to them, uh, it can really throw you for a loop. Mm-hmm. Oh, Literally. triple toe loop? Or a triple toe. Oh, right. wow. Now we're toe. starting the slow section. The slow section is where you catch your breath uh-huh. I see. and make all that ballet training uh-huh. work right. for you. So, do you so do- we're kind of breathing here and trying to just get energy for that. There's a... Le- a Fast section at the end. The big final push. You do. Yeah. Now, do you think that basketball players would perform better if there were music? <laughs> that Does would be interesting. Does the music help you, inspire you? Absolutely. Form your body. Well, Absolutely. Di- you, you tell a story out there. So, mm-hmm. basketball? Basketball. They, 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 play. they have, do like, they? during throw around, like, toss around, like they do in hockey sure, warm up. They play they, music. But I think during a football up. game, is that there should just be a tune that just sort of, you know... That gets tune. everybody going. <laughs> All right, here we go. All right, so let's let's fade yeah. out of that. We've got that, more fun things. Yeah, that's why we have, that's yeah. why we have so a suggestion box. So if you look box. at if you long. look at uh, Ty and Randy, and then you click image search, you find all kinds of fun things to look at. I want to see. There we oh, are. oh wow. look at that! And you I've can, never seen that. 
And you have make believe ties and Randy's and oh, knockoffs. Right. Okay. See with the photos. See those signed photos. Mm-hmm. Yeah. One thing that I have a pet peeve. That you signed a photo for a fan, and now they're and now sign. it's on eBay. Yeah, yeah. Oh, That's so tired. That Why do they do that? Maybe they inherited it. And it's not. It wasn't theirs. It was I don't the, know. their parents. And who's now, the fan? Let's read the name and go it? after them. Oh yeah. yeah, it's all right. Who is it too? If it made them happy, I it's see some love. litigation in their future. <laughs> it belonged to Ed McMahon. <laughs> so, have you ever typed your name into eBay? Because it's a fun ride. Well, that's where I saw all these. Oh, oh yeah. okay. So let's get, I have let's not. do. Oh well, wait till you see. Whoa! What, look at the ice capades button. <clears throat> yep. Whoa! That's, Thirteen dollars. You're a Jet Magazine. Jet that's Magazine. Great. The now defunct. That was because of me, Jet. <laughs> yeah, that's because of you. Because he likes <laughs> lying. <laughs> Have you done Ancestry? It was a big mistake, the whole Ancestry. thing. Ancestry.com. <laughs> yeah. That's funny. So there's yeah. lots of fun stuff that you can buy. Look All at right. those prices. Whoa. Oh, yeah. $11. God, I didn't know that was on Could I just, I, one We're thing, because you were talking about the Google search. So right. when I first went on, one of the first images I saw was you guys on a stamp from Paraguay. There is a stamp. I've seen that. No no way. Way. I've seen now, that. Is yeah. that the only country that ever had you, you on the stamp? And if so, like, why Paraguay? I, think, I, I, don't I know. have no idea. Okay. Just, we haven't done a U.S. That's, stamp. No. Well, How interesting. You haven't. Paraguay. That's amazing. Did Paraguay. You're Ooh, huge in Paraguay. All right, I have that, something to say. There it is. Ty and Randy were teamed together. There it is. Oh, is that us? That's, that's what I saw. That is Paraguay. us. Yeah. Yes. Okay. That's a good, that's fun. And Randy. you could buy the stamp there and then mail it to yourself to arrive before you get home. Oh, that's pretty good. Yeah. Great Ty idea. and Randy were teamed together at ages eight and 10. They went on to win National Junior Paris in 1973. From there, they won five national titles and the Worlds in 1979. They took fifth mm-hmm. in the Olympics in 1976. And in 1980, a heartbreaking injury compelled them to withdraw that's from the games. They went on mm. to join the Ice Capades and skate professionally. So like many child performers, your careers were mapped out for you at very young ages. Can you reflect on how that impacted your development and your sense of yourselves? Wow. Hmm. Child stars. Good question. That's really. It's like, you know, I'm an ice skater. I'm Randy Gardner. I'm an ice skater. That's something you I know. I guess I could feel fortunate that was mapped out for us. I didn't have to find my way. Right. Mm-hmm. It was right. Sort of done. And we did, we're doing things, the thing that we like to do. Ah, mm-hmm. That's Love the key. To do. Uh, yeah. You right. Know, and then. Yeah. So we didn't Very have lucky. to struggle and search. and no, Never got bored. <laughs> you know, that's true. No one ever said, what are you going to do? What are you thinking of majoring right. in? Where are you, where are you they gonna... say that now, though. Oh. <laughs> yeah. No. You... Now they, what are you doing? And Did my you... answer is, I'm going to retire. Right. <laughs> right. So no one ever said to you, it... what are you going to be when you grow up? Which we heard constantly. All the time. Right. All the time. Did right. you ever oh. run into really good skaters, like at a high level that... Had, had got pushed into it and didn't want to be there, but they were doing it like they didn't know what else to do. Like it, it doing uh, it for the wrong reasons. Yeah, doing yeah. it because usually the parents wanted. You uh, see yeah. that? I think you see that m- more now, yes. th- especially with the girls. Yes. Hmm. And the thing is, they end up quitting. Yeah, but it's I, too much pressure. Well, they don't make it. They don't make it. That kind of skater does. That situation doesn't make it that long. Mm-hmm. They're good. There's some good ones like. The girl that might be 15 or 16, you know, you see that then they, they, they sort of hit the wall. Right. Well, and also they change. Their bodies change. Yeah, absolutely. Between right. 15 and absolutely. 16 right. and 20. You know, that's, uh, Sarah talks about that all the time. How right. I, it happened, she has to deal with that. The, you, they it, call it the puberty fairy. The puberty oh, really? fairy. And did you so have to sweet. deal with that? Absolutely. And like I said, we were so close in height and... Mm-hmm. The year, I, I was 15, in 75, was I 15 when I grew? Yeah. And you stopped growing. Yeah. And it's like, I forgot how to jump. I just, I forgot how to skate. Everything was off. Mm-hmm. I'll be done. And that's where our Whose coach, Mr. Nix. this? <laughs> it's physics that's, once exactly. again. Exactly. Yeah. It all changed. And then the next year, you know, it, you know, I sprouted. And, but then the next year it, <laughs> it calmed down and Randy grew maybe another inch mm-hmm. and we were fine. But that one year people were like, uh oh. Yeah. And then Should you have so many it? adults around yeah. you who are concerned about every little uh, change in your body that's devastating enough for any kid going through puberty. Right. So yeah. does that it's, add a, a lot of layers of pressure? Absolutely. Well, you know, there was a time where, well, should he get a smaller partner or should Aww. I get a taller oh, partner? Really? It was it, There was a question mark. Yeah. But then the next year, it, everything was fine. But, but you stamp, see that a lot. There's already a stamp. The stamp. <laughs> the paraguay. paraguay. Yeah, what are they going to do what in Paraguay? What about our mail system? <laughs> you can't change. You're going to have to do face replacement on the stamps. Uh, <laughs> that, funny. That was before Photoshop. That was. We can't right. change the stamp. Well, for Ty and Randy fans listening and watching, if you are craving some dishy Ty and Randy lore, you Ooh. should head over to Randy's blog where I found this early shot Uh-oh. of... You two. Let's Uh-oh. see if we can find it. Oh! oh! 
Oh, that's before that you was grew. That reverse, by the way. That's before you grew, that's, Ty. That's that. That well, yeah. right before. You yeah. can tell. It's th- that awkward stage. That was right before the awkward stage. But there's a lot of confidence we, in these two that I see. Well, the thing, yeah. the thing yeah. is, what I'm shot. impressed with with us is that we didn't, you know, we didn't cave into all that negativity that people you, people were talking and we just plowed through it and we stayed together. And that's the thing with pair skaters now. They don't stay together. Mm-hmm. Did it so, help I mean, that you guys had a bond? Just a natural bond. Yeah. Yeah. In Best friends. And I think yes. well, that and also, same goals. The same goals and we were in it to win it, so to speak. You know, not um not crazy like, but we, we had the same goals. Mm-hmm. And I think we like to skate. We love to skate. And it was just improving. Like I, I like that in it to win it. We were we didn't have that Tanya Harding and I always bring this up, in but it it's to kill it. And what you know, <laughs> win at ever, whatever cost. We didn't have that. Yeah. You know, and it was, you know, yeah. not every, we're all different. We just wanted to keep improving and train hard and we just you know, we happened to keep winning, but you know, so, some people uh, are so desperate. Extortion and assault never crossed you your mind. No. 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 But you that know what's interesting? Way down the list. Just at Christmas last year, do you remember um, a friend of ours, maybe two Christmas ago, she had, uh, it was a mother, it was a mother and, and, and father and two kids and mm-hmm. they're dancers and they're quite good. And we were just sitting around Christmas party and the mom asked, what word could you tell my kids to uh, that you could uh, that makes you successful, or what did you have that you felt made you successful and kept you going? At the same time, we both said passion. Oh, wow! I remember that. that and this was, it was Linda. Mm-hmm. Plastics. Linda. Plastics. Yeah, plastics. Plastics. Yeah. Plastics. 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 But passion, and I right. think yeah. if you yeah. you got to have the passion, I think that's the top thing. Even when you work later you on in your to life, love passion. It. Because the passion can get you through. Because this this is not easy, right? Mm-mm. Elite sports is not easy. No. And from what I've seen at the even at an ice rink, before you were famous, you were in the spotlight mm-hmm. because everybody you know knows you're good. Everybody knows you're good, and yeah. everybody's saying, "Oh, that These Ty two, and Randy, yeah. that pair. You know, you keep an eye on them. They're going places." That's exactly. And, what and that was a lot of pressure. That had to be a lot of pressure. Right. Yeah. And they're trying to well, make friends too, age. and then some kids are jealous, or there's, everyone's talking, and everyone's mm-hmm. comparing themselves, and the social circles kind of build out around who who's better than who, and who win who. I've I've seen kind of kids at these elite levels in tennis and other sports, and yeah. right. it kind you of know, affects their social groupings. We didn't oh. have that though. We were lucky. Yeah, a duo is a different dynamic too, because your friendship probably that you developed probably ha- was a huge percentage of the relationship, as right. opposed to that some bond. of the other pieces. Yeah, yeah, it's um. That's great. I can't explain it. Are it's, there pairs that are really successful where they're not friends? They just do what they do. There are. And, yeah, but and, they're married. <laughs> yeah. Right. Those are the married couples. Right. Exactly. Yeah, All right. Well, we're going to move exactly. on and take a look that's at a good one. <laughs> There's All the right. Thai Babylonia Wikipedia that we oh, have. Oh, Lord. That's nice. And it's got the stamp. Stamps on All there. true. Well, All I have a true. question. Yeah. Yes. Who writes this stuff? The internet. Ed Wiki. Can, can, yeah. can people Wiki? just write in? Like, <laughs> write. Mr. Wiki. Yes. Who, Thomas and Lane, do you understand how Wikipedia works? Because it's a mystery isn't to me. Isn't it fans? Isn't it people who it's, know it's things? Group think. I had nothing to it's do open with source. that. It's open source. Open source. Yeah. So, so they, anyone can edit it, but then it's you have to have a reference. It's and verified. they have fact checkers mm-hmm. that yeah. verify. So if something is incorrect, ideally it doesn't stay up for that long. Or it won't. It, like if you look at all of these, they have those little. Uh, oh, they have all these. Those are the number of references. Oh, I see. They oh. have it. So if it doesn't have that, then it's you like can be source. like, oh, that's probably that might not be true. Oh, so I there's so people, you have to kind of use it with some smarts, you know. You can okay. go in and but, edit someone's Wikipedia page if you find an error. But if you go on to Donald Trump's Wikipedia page and write, <laughs> Donald Trump is a 73 year old poopy pants, it will be down in seconds. There'll mm-hmm. be, there's so many people that are checking this that they make uh, it their right. hobby. Did you try that? Poopy <laughs> pants. Hey. Yeah. Just speaking yeah. from experience. Right. It's a poopy pants. Busted. With a stopwatch to see how much right. I can. I think it's too late. Everybody knows already. So. Uh, <laughs> that would be verified. There'd be too many sources. Yeah. But yeah, Wikipedia is a, is a really perfect it- example of, of a group activity that functions okay. where mm-hmm. there's a balance to it and Okay. Dina, Dina and I were just talking about because my I, my IMDb page and my wiki both have uh, 
uh, the wrong place I was born and the wrong year. I think it's easier to change an IMDb page because you can edit your own biography, but you can't edit your own Wikipedia because the the internet will figure out that you tried That's to do you. that. How can you possibly how... know more about you than we do? That's right. And I, right. And I think you have to have someone do it who's not you. I'm oh. not, I'm not really? sure. But can't you did... control your IMDb page? I yes. believe you can. Yes, you can, yeah. yeah. <clears throat> With a pro account. Okay. Uh, there you go. <laughs> so now we have Sarah Kawahara who's joining us, ooh, and she ooh, has ooh. a Wikipedia page. I'm not sure if it has her correct birthday, but... Um, <laughs> Let's Sarah, see. Sarah, That's my birthday. Wait a minute. I doubt it. And her spouse but is Jamie life. Alcroft and her children, three, including Haley. Uh-huh. Yeah. Um, so that's nice that Haley's included there. Yeah. Uh, so, <laughs> so Sarah, including Haley. Sarah, <laughs> yeah. are these the most talented children you've ever met oh, next, oh, next oh, year? Oh, are, are these the most talented children you've ever had? And, absolutely. And I thought you was, absolutely. Sarah. Oh, <laughs> okay, Sarah, when, when and where did you meet them? Your uh, children? You know, on my very <laughs> last year of performing with the Ice Capades, mm-hmm. they were guest stars in Los Angeles at the Ice Capades. That it was after the Olympics, and um, they had signed a contract uh, for the next three years, uh, but they were allowed to come and be guest stars. So that's when I met them at the sports arena right. in Los Angeles. The sports, the arena. sports arena. Yeah. And Long Beach. Did we do Long Beach, too? Yeah. We did Long we did. Beach, yeah. Yeah. Two cities. Yes. Yeah. And we learned so, you I, well, were so learned, famous. You guys are so well, famous. Well, if we were straight out of the Olympics. <laughs> oh, my god! But it was crazy. Right. If you yeah. guys are young and you're Did watching it. this, you can't understand how famous these guys were. There were only three channels. So everyone <laughs> right. in the world was watching one thing, and it was Ty and Randy. That's right. So yeah. it was everything. <laughs> Yeah, uh, you no, were watching. We weren't. You I wasn't, wasn't watching, watching PBS. I was watching Time. <laughs> there was no PBS. Well, it was ABC was. Wide World of Sports. There was, but it was. But cable. it was. It, but yeah. it was. I don't think that kind of fame exists anymore because our attention is too well the, diluted. It's too many yeah. channels. It right. was like, all because of mm. Howard Cosell. <laughs> Wait, one is of that what, you guys yeah. had Dick Button though? Yeah, right? Dick yeah. Button. Yeah. who I just saw last week. And Peggy week. Fleming. Mm-hmm. Yeah. yeah, Peggy Fleming. No, it was Dick Button. Chris Shankle and oh, Jim McKay. Jim, Jim McKay. He was dreamy, I thought. Yeah. Chris they Shankle were like was family. great, too. Yeah. <laughs> I heard, I heard he, Dick Button once say, when somebody fell, well, the ice can be slippery. <laughs> yeah. Right. Yeah. It's, it's not forgiving. Me. Did he have a fact sheet but he had to Sarah, say? <laughs> but Sarah, like... You talk about us being famous. I would watch you guys, and I know Ty did, too. And mm-hmm. we had to come in to your world. And that was so new for us and mm-hmm. foreign. Yeah, and, and right. Those it shows was, were big. The it was so hard. Right. I, I really felt you for know. you because, um, I mean, you were you were schooled and you were technical and you were at the very very top of your game and. Um, and we were about color and romance yeah. and showbiz and, showbiz showbiz. and production showbiz. with costumes and lights and right. you know all the things that were not important in your world but right. so important in our oh, world. So was, and they just wouldn't leave the ice until they got their score. That's funny. That's very good. Yeah. Very good. Yeah. Uh, no scores uh, and ice capades, but I would watch and learn. I always say that I yeah. watched and I learned from from Sarah and Ken Shelley and JoJo Starbuck and Richard Ewell. Jo- that's Joe how Star- you learn. Yes. Mm-hmm. Yeah. Yes. Starbucks. Yep. Well, we it, have. A, oh, go ahead, Randy. No, and then no, we're I was gonna... just going to say. So we had to go into that world, and that was entertainment. That was real, and you were being paid to do that. And I would just look and say, "We have to make this work." Right. This is. It was your future. Yeah. It was our future, and we yeah. have to make this work. Right. Whether this is our big job. Eyes, small eyes. How, how the lights are bright. Sorry, it's too dark, and the blackouts. I remember one time you said your dad said, "When you get off, close your eyes, because you'd be doing a number with so many lights and effects. Oh. Then you get this blackout, and you're blind. Oh, and right. your eyes blind. Have, and I think Sarah yeah. said, my dad always said to shut your eyes because your eyes will adjust. Oh, and I would, that's a good one. And I did that, and when I open up. It was good. I could see, see him. Think. You see in the dark like a cat. <laughs> <laughs> well, we had tunnels in those days yes. on right. stage left and right. Right. Yeah. All right. Well, we're going to show yeah, a little choreography Wait. that you guys can talk over. This is uh, this is a a routine that you created for oh. Ty and Randy. Uh-oh. Uh-oh. Oh. Okay. Is this um, yours, Sarah? Yes. This was to On Golden Pond, and it's really one of my favorite on numbers Golden that Golden we did. Frozen Pond. <laughs> Together. Beautiful. <laughs> and uh, it was... Oh. You know, you guys were so perfect and you were so, your lines were so beautiful and parallel to each other that when I got the opportunity to work with you, 
I was about putting the emotion into those lines and making it means something just a little bit different than what mm -hmm. we were used to seeing you do. And, um, and this, this piece is a classic. was really one of my favorite pieces we did together. Yeah, beautiful. It is beautiful. This is like wow. 1984. Uh, I thought it said 79. 79, no, it said. That's, that, that, was that was wrong. Oh, it was on uh, Wikipedia. Well, was, the American Celebration on Ice, I think. Fake news. Fake yeah. news. Yeah. Beautiful costumes fake by news. Jeff oh, Billings. Jeff Billings. Yes. Right. But Sarah really taught us how to tell a story on the ice mm -hmm. and include, you know, let the audience in. That is key. And I really wanted to also the communication between you to mm -hmm. come out because you moved so um, with such synchronicity together that it was at times in the beginning, it was rather mechanical. And so right. I really wanted it us to know who you were as people, as, oh, as personalities right. and feel it between you yeah. how, so how, that hard was my adjustment, it, how hard an adjustment was that to to get to get into that personal thing from the technical took me i think it took me longer than it randy it took me a minute to understand that you do have to tell a story and you do have to you know just listen to the music and relate to each other and also don't leave your audience out it you know it's mm -hmm. all important mm -hmm. every every move counts don't throw anything away and yeah as, as randy says there's no such thing as a rehearsal. Every every day is a show. Mm -hmm. Oh, interesting. That's a, yeah. That's a, yeah competition is very yeah. presentational. Competition, you present it to be judged. You know, you don't. Right. It's a different feeling than drawing the audience into your performance and getting them to react to it. And then it becomes emotional and and in that way affect the judges. It's a different, mm -hmm. a different approach. Mm -hmm. Right. And then this is everybody this is sharing so pretty. the experience. Um, so Ty and Randy, do you remember the first time that you two met each other? Just beautiful. Yep. Oh yeah. Mm. Once upon a time. All right. Well, I would love if, <laughs> Ty, if Ty could read this passage from Randy's blog, if you can read it. During a break one day, I glanced down the row of benches and. You can read up there. Is that bigger? No, this is good. Okay, all right. I glanced down the row of benches and saw a new girl playing with her dolls. She was a tiny little thing with mocha-colored skin and golden locks of hair. She was quiet and completely focused on taking care of her dolls as if she were their mom. I walked over to her, curious to get closer a closer look at the dolls. The girl that should have been the first sign. <laughs> <laughs> that right. Wait a second. <laughs> Pause. Sorry. And we have a clue. Yeah. Okay. <laughs> this is great. The girl, the girl introduced me to the dolls, telling me each of their names. After introduction, she handed me one of the dolls to hold. I stood there holding the doll as she returned her attention to the rest. The shy little eight-year-old girl had the most beautiful hair I had ever seen. Oh, Raina, I'm going to start crying. Her name was Ty Raina Babylonia. Mm. Did I get it right, sort of? That's lovely. That was pretty close, Randy. Is okay. that how you remember? <laughs> well, yeah, yeah. There was that, but then okay. Oh boy. Once, <laughs> once we were on the ice. This is how how the the pair started. Mm -hmm. We were taken from the same coach, Mabel Fairbanks. This was in Culver City, Culver Ice, which oh, is now yes. a hardware store. Oh, jeez, such a loss. And yeah. she needed a, a pair team, a little pair team for the club show there. Um. I don't know why she thought of us. I don't, we were solo skaters. I had no idea what pair skating was. Randy was bratty. Randy had cooties. Randy had blisters on his hands. And there, I would not hold his hand. She said, hold his hand and skate around the rink. That's all I want. Hmm. And we hesitated. And it's like, oh, my God, I don't really know him. And he's better than me. And he has an axle. And he skates fast. And he's a show off. <laughs> and blah, blah, blah. That's a long list. <laughs> yeah. And, but that was and Randy. He was and really good. That's a lot of baggage. But he, yeah. did, <laughs> but he did have cooties. So anyway, we, we held hands. And that was it. Hmm. 50, over 50 years later, we're still kind of holding hands. Uh -huh. You never let go. Never let go. That's beautiful. That's how, yeah, but Culver City and Mabel Fairbanks. Olympic figure skater Randy Gardner's life story is coming to the big screen. Yes. We're going to let Randy talk about this. So it's called Go Figure, colon, the Randy Gardner story. I think all documentaries ha need that colon. 
I know that all the, uh, all the ones I've one. Yeah. It, it, it absolutely yeah. does. Yeah. Show yeah. Me. Oh, it does. Yeah. Oh, yeah. yeah. No, it needs the ones with semicolons oh, never work. They never. <laughs> oh, they never. It's a jinx. So Randy's story began as a play. The project began with uh, Randy's one-man theater show about his life with the same name as the film, Go Figure, colon, the Randy Garter story. <laughs> The show was seen by longtime figure skating fan Sheridan Williams Sotelo, who has editing credits on a slew of projects, including Breaking Bad and Mr. Robot. Now she is directing and editing the behind the scenes film. And we're going to look at a sizzle reel that comes to us from Sheridan. Oh, how nice. It's a great movie. I've seen it. Sizzling. Who's sizzling? How did you get here? And why do we need another figure skating movie? (laughs) <laughs> and a film editor, I never saw the light of day. I was vitamin D deficient, so I decided to vitamin D direct. As a kid, I absolutely <laughs> adored watching my heroes, Randy Gardner and Ty Babylonia, wow. figure skate. As a grown-ass woman, I had the amazing opportunity <laughs> to be coached by Randy Gardner. When I was working on Breaking Bad, I went to see Randy perform his one-man show live at a theater in North Hollywood. Go long. figure the Randy Gardner story. True story. Odd at age 40 to find out you're adopted. He then asked me to direct a behind-the-scenes documentary of the show. So we did it. We shot it. We need you to finish it. Why should you come along with us on our journey? Because the power of figure skating. Skating is not just sequins and pretty spins. And skating movies don't have to be cheesy and inauthentic. So come with us on a skater's journey. As he finds his roots, he finds his truth. I, Sheridan, invite you, the audience, to become a member of our team. Let's go figure together. Oh. Bravo. Yeah. So, Randy, let's back up a moment. You found out you were adopted at the age of 40? Yes. Can you share with us how that happened Whoa. and why it hadn't happened <laughs> mm-hmm. sooner? Before, yeah. yeah. Well, I, I, it was, um, I, I always felt different and looked different, acted different than people in my family. I never really sort of pursued it because I never, either denial or I just didn't care, which is part of it, too busy to care. And then it just hit me, I should find out. I was getting older. Um and I and and I did. I did a search, and first I I did a search, and they did find that I had records up in the state of California from a private adoption. And I had to, as an adult, I could open up the petition to open up the record. So oh, I did. Darn. Did the paperwork. They sent me back the documentation of when my birth mom gave me up her interview when she gave me up with the state and what she said. She talked about herself, my birth dad. She didn't give much information. I found that out later once I met her. And so it was confirmed I was adopted. But your parents, and were your parents alive for you to? My adoptive parents? Yes. No, you, that my, my dad was gone, my mom was alive. Did she know you were looking or that she? She did that, not. Okay. Uh-huh. No, well, what about your, your brother, Gordon? Was he, he adopted he, too? He was not, he was natural. He was, okay. Yeah. So then, um, then they she had, the search agency asked me if I wanted to to uh, uh, search my birth mom or find her or make contact, and I said I did. So and this is before, really, before the internet, and they mm-hmm. found her pretty quick. They knew that she. Well, oh, I had to go down to the Holler Records, Holler Records, and Los Angeles Library, and I found her uh, marriage license, and I had to look at a phone book with different options of what her name might be. A phone book, what is that? Oh. Uh, like a phone, regu- <laughs> regular <laughs> phone book. <laughs> <laughs> well, when, when we were kids. Rolodex. <laughs> oh, Sorry, okay. Rolodex. Oh, okay. They have uh, them at the pay phone. Yeah. Oh, yellow, they have pay, the yellow pages. Phone. Pay phone, what yeah. are you talking about? That's where Superman changed. <laughs> 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 so. Sorry. No, that's against the guy. So the, birth, the, the, the um, marriage license had her name, her husband's name, and both sets of parents' names. Uh, and so that, was, that even made the, the search even easier for the search people to find to narrow them, it down. Yeah. To narrow it down. Yeah. So then um, they said, okay, we found her. She left Los Angeles after you were born. She went to Texas, and now she's in Coeur d'Alene, Idaho. Do you want to make contact? And I said I did. So I wrote a letter. They had her address, and it was certified mail, and I very brief, you know, and because you don't know who you're writing, and you don't know who knows about you. You don't know right. what the situation is. Right. You don't know who's going to open up the mail. You right. don't know anything. <laughs> 
So you just write sort of a vague, and I said I was a performing athlete, and I think that uh, where we, I was born December 2nd, 1957, and I think we might be related. Ooh. Yeah. And so any 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 mom seeing that date would say, well, of course. I, my son's trying to find me. Sure. Of course. Sure. So that's kind of, and luckily, she was kind of waiting for me to do that. To reach out. Oh, really? Mm -hmm. oh, how wonderful. Yeah. So, but then tell th that she was a fan of Ty and Reed. Well, no. So then, yeah. So <laughs> oh, then, they ruined it. With, with, oh, sorry. <laughs> yeah, no, no, no. So <laughs> then we had a, we did letters back and forth, and we finally did a, I had to get up the guts to talk to her. And at first, oh, I was like, God. Oh God, this is crazy. What did I get myself into? You mm -hmm. know, because she was all over it. She was all about it. Mm -hmm. You know, me reaching out That's and doing great. all that. Mm -hmm. and, but yeah, it was great, and I, and I was so appreciative. But I but I pulled back. And I went, ooh, ooh, this is, I don't know if I really want to do this. Because I was older. And I'm like, yeah. I found out maybe that's all I need to know. Mm -hmm. But you were 40 and a half by that. I, I was 40 yeah. and a half. Yeah. It's a different you age. You were older. So it's we a different finally age. spoke on the phone. <laughs> she told me a lot of stuff that it was a product of a rape. She was raped at 16. She had <gasps> me at 17. Uh, all that stuff. And then, but I still didn't tell her that I was the skater, Randy Gardner. Uh, I was really quiet about that. Once she found out and I told her, she realized it. I love this. She woke up at night and goes, my son is Randy Gardner, the skater. <laughs> she, oh, she got it on her own. She got it. Yeah. yeah. Uh -huh. And then, then I talked to her. She goes, you know, I've been a fan of yours for 25 years. <laughs> oh, and I didn't know that, my gosh. Who she was, that yeah. that boy was her son. Oh, wow. I get chills. That's I such a wonderful it. story. That's, that's I love of, that. And all that's going to be in the movie, right? It's in it. It, it is. It is in the movie. Oh, it's, gosh. It's a it great is. film. And her voiceover, her, she's on the, she's not in the play. We're going to put her in. But her voiceover, a voiceover phone call is in the film, which is nice. Oh, my goodness. Yeah. Wow. Oh, that is So fantastic. are we still crowdfunding your film? No, it's done. Oh, it's done. Okay. Well, we have another. We can still take money, though. Yeah. 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 There's no. always more money. No. Yeah. Because they're, on the they're... crowdfunding site, it said that for, for a donation of $250, you get a half hour ice skating lesson from the legend himself. It does. But and the... I want to know if you would teach me how to um, stop little kids from knocking me over when they whiz past me. And I'll do it for free. Okay. Oh, oh. see? Wow. They're Wheezy. Fun. I think you just yeah. hold on to the edge tighter. They are funded, but there is a tip jar. <laughs> Wheezy on yeah, ice. Yeah. Wheezy on ice. Now, is, Wheezy. There, is there no, more to the story? Well, actually, is there more to the Buffalo story anyway. about your mother's rape? That, that yeah, yeah, yeah. Came well, out? well, yeah. Jeez, so please. interesting. This is 1957. So, so there was a lot no. Of she never is. went after the guy, or she never went after. It was her boss. She worked at a. Um, it was her Sunday school teacher's husband. <gasps> oh God. Uh, Christian Scientist. Oh, sure. Christian Scientist, yeah. Joe Palermo, he was 60, so I'm, I'm half Italian for sure. Mm -hmm. And um, yeah, he raped her at work. Like uh, a, lo a lot. Uh, a lot. Uh, and then it took. Uh, oh, my goodness. Ta da! Ta da! <laughs> and and, and uh, so did her parents force her to give you up? Or uh, was what kind of pressure was there? Yeah, so she never said, they just thought she was gaining weight. She never talked about it. Her oh sister knew. Uh huh. She went to labor and her mom took her to a church maternity home, which was a Christian scientist oh. home hospital in Griffith Park. A Christian here. scientist hospital? Is yeah. that, is that but, which redundant? Is in, yeah, it, it's a, it's a, it, it was a, actually a church facility and they could a, okay. go have babies. There's there. no medicine there. Yeah. but they let yeah. you have a baby. Yeah. They just look okay. at you and go, feel better. <laughs> yeah. Think about feeling better. Breathe deep. <laughs> right, feel we're gonna, better. We're going to take a little break for commercial. Feel better. Wow. We'll be right wow. Back. This, is, this is just amazing. Good luck. He said it. Feel, feel better. better. Amazing story. This is Brew Crime, a craft beer and true crime podcast. I'm Mike. I'm Beck. And I'm Nina. And we're your hosts. We pair a true crime story with a craft beer. That Nina will probably hate. Yeah, probably. <laughs> Whatever. You can find our show on all your favorite podcast apps, and if you can't find it, contact us, and we'll try and change that. We can be found at brewcrime.com, or on Twitter at brewcrime, on Facebook at brewcrime, or if you want to go to our group, it's group slash brewcrime on Facebook, or on Instagram at Pacific Beer Chat. Join us as we discuss the horrible crimes that surround us and try not to giggle. I think there's more podcasts about crime than not about crime. Yeah. 
That's so I think a, we stand out. They just kill. That's Although the first we, commercial we did I've ever just heard. discuss a rape. So yeah, yeah. that's true. Right. That's the first commercial I've ever heard with the word whatever in it. Um. Yeah. yeah. Well. Yeah. It, <laughs> or we're starting whatever. a trend or whatever. Sarah, what should we know about Ty and Randy that oh. that people don't know but maybe would want to know and or that they don't want us to know? Oh my! Well, there's well, a category. Oh, that's a good one. Yeah. <laughs> that's a category. She knows well, everything. No, a, a, a fun uh, little anecdote is that um, Randy Randy was really interested as a performer. Um, he wanted to evolve and he wanted to get into production. And um, he talked to me about it and what was being choreographer like. And you know, he he had aspirations aspirations so i had him he assisted me on a show in san diego for sea world and it was a scott hamilton production and, hmm. and that was scott hamilton's first product uh producer credit wow so that was oh. kind of fun to be able to bring the two together and um so so randy randy worked for me <laughs> as a awesome. assistant That's a choreographer. and then ty Uh-oh. oh no just you know i'm wearing her one of her the first butterfly. butterflies right and Artsy you know crafty. ty was an enigma on tour she was an enigma because she was you know this gorgeous <laughs> famous girl performer um but then she would kind of disappear and she was rather <laughs> reclusive and um but she came out it, it turns out that she was working on on these beautiful butterflies of different sizes and shapes and she would jewel them and then she would gift them and then they actually became a business on the side oh. for her. Are they mm-hmm. you? Are they me? Yeah. yeah. A, butterfly. a butterfly. I am butterfly. very much a butterfly. Yeah. Mm-hmm. Yes. Meta- metamorphous. Yeah. Mm-hmm. Papillon. Yeah. The cocoon. And it was, it was really therapeutic. You know, mm-hmm. whether I knew it was, I was, you know, it was therapeutic or not. It's, hmm. That's where I was. Oh, in it's my very room. detail oriented, yes. very color oriented. Right. I yeah. sort of brought the the sparkle of my costumes onto these oh. pins, and you where know, can we find them now? There, I'm done. You're done. Okay. okay. Yeah. So, well, but the, the year I was talking about that was the year uh, that I went to work for her and, and and sort of had to find my way, take a different path. Was the year Ty was having some difficulties in her life and this is Personal a great segue problems. into it because right. Sarah, Sarah saw all that too. right so, so Ty's, Ty's story was first to the screen with a movie called On Thin Ice and I believe your story was told in that film it was it a, a TV movie it was an NBC movie of the week talk about that yes it, um, surreal bizarre hmm. uh, I wanted to leave I was there we, we were actually who is bu- this fake Ty <laughs> oh she's adorable that's Nicole oh, Lynn she was see there cute. were three ties okay. there was Baby tie. Look at the little fake Randy. There's, His haircut is yeah. a little too um, <laughs> precise. There's the middle tie, and then there's the tie that was in trouble all the time. Oh, okay. So, yeah, it was surreal. and um, Played by Mackenzie Phillips. The, could have been. It was, I was on the wild side. That's funny. But anyway, it's, you know, I committed to it. I wanted to leave after the first week, and our then manager said, you, you know, you you got to stay. You got to stay and see this through. Some mm-hmm. scenes were hard to watch. Some mm-hmm. I avoided. We doubled for ourselves. You know, we doubled mm-hmm. for the actor, the, right. the skate, Skate-y. the actors. Um, and it tur- it turned out pretty good. You know, it was no ice castles or, you know, anything like that. But we, you know, some stuff was exaggerated, and so a lot of stuff was left out. But all in all, it mm-hmm. did it, it it did what I wanted it to do, and it was basically to stop lying to people. I and see. no more secrets. The skating world hated it because I showed a dark side of figure skating. So they just kind of mm. shun. What, what is the dark side of figure skating that they would r- <laughs> rather not? My dark side. Um, well, I was drinking. I was wild. Isn't there a dark yes. side of everything, though? Yes. Mm-hmm. Yeah. And I chose to because it's like, well, if you're going to show it, show it and talk and write about it and say it, say it. So I did as much as I can knowing you know, years later, I would someday write the book, which I'm mm-hmm. doing now. Oh, 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 oh talk about that. Oh, good. You're writing. Right. Um, I'm, uh, well, it's taken me a while. And I'd started the, you do the sample chapters and Scott Hamilton's writing the foreword, which I should get next week. Randy's writing the intro, which I'll get at some point. And then I'm meeting with a literary agent in two weeks. And it's Great. a project I know is going to take a lot out of me because I had to already take a break from writing it with my ghostwriter because it was the personal stuff is deep. 
Mm-hmm. And there's a comedian involved. Uh oh. And it's difficult. It's difficult. It's difficult to do that. I do. And it's, you yeah. know, because there was some damage. I'll mm-hmm. just leave it at that. And not all comedians are funny. What? That's uh, how- <laughs> no, wait a minute. Wait a minute. Wait a minute. I'll just leave that there. <laughs> I take umbrage to that. All right. So no, when you but, write about no, people that have right. lives and families and mm-hmm. children, yeah. perhaps. Um, you have to be careful. How do, you do, how do you do that and still own your story uh, right. without offending anybody? Well, that's, that's the tricky part. Yeah. Because, you know, I am still close with someone's kids. Mm-hmm. And there are a lot of big names that have run through my life. Um, but it's my story. Right. And I have yeah. to own it. And if, if I'm going to do it, I'm going to go in, go all in. I agree. If not, I'm, I won't do it. I so agree. It, yeah. Absolutely. Absolutely. So it's, you know, it'll, I'm just, it's emotionally already draining. And mm-hmm. I'm, I've just done the sample chapters. But yeah. No, I, I was I thinking of changing names in, in my book, but I, I chose not to. The mm-hmm. Tin Man Diaries. Right. I chose not to. I just chose to, you know, mm-hmm. because those people know that that's what happened. Mm-hmm. Right. And uh, they can deny it, but I never mm-hmm. said anything. Now, mm-hmm. I, but I, I did have a question for you. How did the skating world react to On Thin Ice? Was there any kind of blowback from that? Uh, I got or, comments. I got or, some mail. Right. They just, they, nasty, they didn't, um, no, not nice. Not nice. Yeah. It okay. just, you know, I kind of blew the door open. I'm not perfect. Yeah. Well, and you see now, you see a lot of problems in figure skating, but yeah. the, but the skaters are coming out and saying, you know, look at Gracie Gold. Mm-hmm. That's, you know, yeah. that was, there's a problem that's there. A, that's a problem. But she was open yeah. and she was honest and people embraced her. You know, everything, timing is everything. Because I remember when Sarah was asked to do I, Tanya. To choreograph I, Tanya. Right. She right. had a, a reaction of, I, I don't know whether to do this because mm-hmm. I don't know how the skating world is going to react right. to this. Right. And, right. And, 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 and the skating, the that how did the in. skating world react to that, Sarah? I, I, uh, did you ever get I any? never really got a beat. I never really took an interest Smart. on how mm-hmm. the skating world reacted Smart. because, um, because it was a whole new, Working with all the young people out on the set, it was a whole new generation that were was hearing the story for the first time, and their take right. on it was so different. Mm-hmm. Uh, right. And it was just, it was really interesting. Um, and I had lived through that era. I had lived through the time when she was in Champions on Ice, and you know, mm-hmm. I was supposed, I was asked to choreograph for her, and I was actually too busy, and I turned her down. And I mean, I was around at that time before the event but um right. but i like the way the film right. handled it because they also put a lot of blame on the audience they you know she looked right at you and she said you guys did this you made fun of me you turned me into a joke and it my life wasn't funny this happened because of what i was going through and nobody was there to listen or understand mm. I, mm. she was just supposed to perform that right. was the point of view that that she took and and breaking the fourth wall and talking to the so, audience. So yes, the movie was based on on their on her and Jeff Galilee's report. Right. Okay, so it's their point of view. Yeah, it's their te- right. it's their thing. It's not it's the ones it's it's their story. It is one side. Their thoughts, one their side. story. Yeah. One side, whatever you want to say. So yeah. So and you know, very well, it was well done. I Allison Janney won an Oscar for it. And it was right. I thought it was a well done film. I did too. And I always think, and I've been in positions like this too. And oh God, what are people going to think? Should I take this or not take it? Or should I say it or not say it? Right. Mm-hmm. And you can balance that out. But I think we can take the jobs that we really feel we want to take. If it's a good project, it's a good project. Yeah. Mm-hmm. Yeah, yeah, and it became Which, about the skill of doing it. I yeah. had to do doubles. I had to find doubles. Right. I yeah. had to do the skating and represent the era. Mm. So mm-hmm. I said to to like my assistant, Cindy Shea, on it, I said, like, this is this is like a, a technical job. It's like almost doing a documentary for mm-hmm. us. I said, right. let's it's be, a very be true. Right. Be true to, to the era yep. yeah. and the skating yep. style of the time, and that's what we did. Would you guys say, though, in the, the the internet era, like the era that we're in now, so some of the stuff you were talking about, about telling your story, and I don't want to blow the door open, on that so much more is known about everybody all the time now that there aren't as many sort of secrets or dark areas that, that to be exposed. Yeah. A whole most different the, world. It, yeah. it it's made you become, it made the, the, the writers have to be better. Mm-hmm. The performances have to be better because you have to come up and above. You have to write things differently now yeah. because people right. know. Because people you, know stuff. People know stuff. Right, they know so everything. You, have to, you, have to, you can't, 
you know, you don't want to tell them something. You, you can't tell them something they already know or they'll close the book or they'll switch the channel. So you have to tell it in a way you have to come in. It just makes the writers have, have had to become so good. And remember when we had all the, um, uh, 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 t alternative TV, it was taking over. Now they're back to scripted television. These scripts are good. Mm -hmm. right. These scripts yeah. are That's really right. good. And you have stuff like Shit's Creek and, and, and these wonder, all these wonderful TV shows Ozark. That, are, that are out there. Yeah. yeah. Cause if you're going to succession the, 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 for them to replace big brother, and all, you better have a wham, bam script. Yeah. Uh, um, you know, so so those the, the script of television has gotten so Game of Th Thrones. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. My God, I've heard of that. Yeah, I right, know. right. That think show. Good, we never would have had that before, and, th and you can thank reality television for that. Yeah, because we had to come yeah. in with bigger, better, better. things right. that people would watch. Right, More and compelling. also I think that the um, all the the whole kind of array of channels and us not being extremely focused on on three networks has offered a lot more freedom to creators. They're saying, well, if you want me to create something, I'm going to get more freedom. It used to be like the network was always saying, you know, pull it back, tone it down. It's got to right. be right. easier yeah. to right. understand. And now right. Right. creators are saying, no, I want to really just dive in and tell this complicated story with all these different layers and characters and interwoven plot lines. And, and I don't want you guys telling me what to do because... That infringes upon my, my network create. notes. Yeah, yeah well, network notes. Yeah, right. yeah. yeah. Right. Fam the famous. Right. There was a famous book written about it where the title of the book is "A Martian Wouldn't Say That." <laughs> oh wow! <laughs> Which That's was what a, happened on uh, my favorite yeah. Martian. Yes, yeah. yes. A note from the network on that. They go, really? Okay. <laughs> <laughs> and, the, and the whole book is just each, each page is a new note from a network executive, and each one is like, don't. I mean, they're all just headbangers. Well, now wow. now we're in a situation where with Ty in, in your book, right. you can be more true to yourself. Yes. And I think that is I, the bottom line is we, we just be true to yourself. And just own Tell it. Tell your story. Own, own it. it. Exactly. It's huge. And, you know, there's a lot of humor, too. It's not all, you know, it's not, you know, a and, downer kind of and book. It's like and it's like, and be in it to win it. And, it, and, and it's be in it to win it. it. Yeah. If you went through do it. it then other people went through it too. Right. Exactly. And that's Absolutely. the thing is like, yeah. we've been, we all have hung on to our secrets for centuries. Far too long. And now mm -hmm. we're talking and people are going, you too? Oh my God. Absolutely. My parents were like that. I, you know, and it's, right. I know I, I get a lot of feedback from the cow sales because I have a, a bunch of special features up on my YouTube uh, channel and the, the conversations back and forth with similar Catholic big families and mm -hmm. dark secrets and stuff mm. like, right. and they say, well, we couldn't sing, but it was the same. <laughs> right, <laughs> right, 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 yeah. right. Right. So that's what you'll find when you put your book out. You'll yes. find all the people who yeah. reach out and say, thank you. Right. Thank you. Right. Yeah. yeah. I'm that's excited. A, that's important because you got to find like whether, whether with my play and or the movie, you got to find who's, who's going to watch it and who, and you got to kind of make it for not everybody's going to watch it. Not everybody's going to like it. A lot of people aren't going to care. No, well, I a lot can't of people imagine don't remember. That. I can't imagine that. Well, well but, the, but, you, but you have to find who, you, honestly, in my mind, who do I want to see this? Ah. And I'm writing it and doing it for that group of people. For your so, audience. Terms of so my, uh -huh. my question to audience. Who's yeah. your audience? The demographic, right. I guess. Yeah, yeah. that's yeah. so important yeah. in anything that if you, you if do you come as in a all performer. Because mm -hmm. I know a lot of people aren't, gonna, aren't, aren't, aren't into all the stuff that my life was about. And that's okay. But is I'm not writing it for them either. Right, yeah. I was going to say, but there if you, you write go. it for yourself first, mm -hmm. I mean, are you, right. are you yeah. talking about tailoring it? So I should say it in a different way because that's not who's going to be well, seeing that, this. But also, I think um, why you're, a couple things, why you're telling your story, mm -hmm. you got to you have to answer that. Right. Why? Mm -hmm. And it can be any reason to share, to, to teach, to make money, whatever, whatever it is, there's an answer. You got to figure mm -hmm. out what that is. Then you got to figure out who am I talking to? Mm -hmm. And who is going to really listen? Right. Yeah. And then you have to write it. And then you have to have, it has to be really good writing though. It has to be um, the pace, the tempo. Mm -hmm. um, because there are people authentic. have higher expectations. And there's a lot of good work out there. High expectations. Well, there's some really good writing in your blog, Randy. So um, oh. <laughs> would you yeah. read this entry from your blog posted in 2011? Uh, 2011? Mm-hmm. <laughs> wow. Who was alive wow. then? Yeah, we're God, I have uh, socks older than that. What do you got this on? Eight track? Although we had mutual friends in the show. Oh, I'm going to Ted. That yeah, one, Ted. Ted was still too shy to approach me directly. Initially, he'd simply follow the others to dinner or drinks after rehearsal days. He would uh, scoot his way towards me, ending up talking to me at the table afterwards. 
How, oh, there it is. How convenient. He had had a crush on me, but didn't really know what to do about it. He eventually had a mutual friend, Andrea, one of the tall girls in the show, call me in the hotel room late one night. Ted likes you, Andrea said, but he's too scared to tell you. Well, that's all I needed to hear. Oh, Yay. Yay. Dun, 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 dun. Uh, knock, knock, Drama. Knock. What room are you yeah. in? Andrea was <laughs> my room roommate. Service. Yeah. Was she really? Yeah. <laughs> so we have a, a lot of out athletes in all different mm -hmm. sports, but... When you guys were in the ice capades and you got, I guess you were on Wheaties boxes and everything, it wasn't, I mean, I'm sure everyone in the skating world knew who was gay, but it wasn't okay for the world to know. So how, was the ice capades its own village where you could date whoever you wanted and nobody was ever going to talk it about it? It was perfect yeah. for, yeah. Kind of life, for that kind of life. It was like, it was, it well, was no. It was circus people. It was we Key West on party. ice. It was. <laughs> it was, it was <laughs> Key West. Traveling Key West. Right. Key West on ice, yes. Yeah. Was yeah, it like yeah. a bubble? It was, I mean, yeah. is that, that the... I think so. Yeah. yeah. Mm -hmm. like a bubble? It was protected. Safe. Yeah. Safe. Safe. It was protected. Yes. Yeah. 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 Well, it was protected. Yeah. Isn't that good? So a lot of... A lot of well-adjusted people came out of ice capades then. <laughs> well, do you I also think. think that figure skating was at the cutting edge of embracing diversity in its family? Does it feel like you paved the yet. way for other sports and other athletes? But so... It say? was and at the time, it wasn't... The skating world wasn't ready yet, but you had freedom in the show. In the show itself. To discover mm -hmm. who you are and right. be comfortable with it. And yeah. But it took decades before the actual uh, competitive world became uh, accepting. Well, I, think, yeah. I think people knew kind of who was probably gay, it, but it wasn't like if it was Brian Boitano or whoever it was, we were like, or Scott Hamilton, we were like, whatever. And then I met Jamie and Sarah and they were like, Scott's not gay. And I'm, Okay, you, you <laughs> well, know, the, it didn't early, really matter to most people. Well, I John think. Curry was an early one in terms of talking about it and us knowing and it almost killed his career. Once mm, he, right. once really he got out. Yeah. Yeah. He came, he was forced to then, come out. Because the, the, right. the British press just dragged him through the mud. Oh, you know? really? Yeah. Gay, gay, go. Oh. Yeah, 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 right. And then right. He, he kept working. They went to New York and then things changed for him. Then, you know, like Rudy Galindo was one of the first out skaters. And that was okay then. And then, what about but Robin? he was on Will and Grace. Robin, Rob, Robin was, yeah. And then other athletes were like Greg Lucanus. <laughs> Greg Lucanus. Shut up. Randy. Yeah, yeah. Greg Lucanus. So when do you know when it's safe? Do you have to say it like that? But, How do you know it's safe? But Ted had already sunk it. Randy. Well, I, 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 I call those That's guys brave. <laughs> yeah. I was not that brave. Well, no. everyone just took a little longer. Everyone has a different personality, yeah. right? So yeah. Different yeah. timing. Right. Well, yeah, hell, you've you do been through a lot. I remember Scott was would always say, you know, everybody thinks I'm gay. And and this is great traveling around in a show with all these gorgeous women. Right. It's fantastic. Right. They just assume. Everybody thinks I'm gay. Yeah. And, and, you know, it's, it, it was kind of like me being a, I, I came out as heterosexual in, when I lived in Key West. What? Uh, in 1975. Stop. I thought you always mm -hmm. were. Yeah. Good. No, I, oh. I came out. No, you have to come out as straight yeah. down there. Yeah, straight yeah. down there. Uh. And it's devastating. Oh, my God. Because <laughs> I lived. <laughs> oh, and, my God. But what a great, what a great island for a straight guy to live on. Right. Because you, you didn't have to be that good looking or that charming. Don't well. judge. <laughs> <laughs> there are slim pickings. Yeah. I danced so well. S Slim Thank Pickens you. is gay? I only danced well with you. No. Oh, Here we go. Uh, All right. So, I Ty and Randy, <laughs> when are we oh, going to see this documentary? What's yes. what's the latest? What's happening? What do we need to know? Well, the yeah. documentary is, is out. It's done. Um, it's being marketed for film festivals now being submitted mm -hmm. as we speak. And then I've been doing some private screenings. Did one in L.A. There's a New York one coming up. And Boston. then... Boston will be in March. Yeah. So I'm doing these little private screenings as we're seeing where we make it into the film festival world. But at the same time, we're going to start paralleling, you know, for uh, distribution. Mm -hmm. Yeah. I want to see it at Sundance. So. Mm -hmm. Sundance, I would too. Because that's where you're going to that's where you're going to uh, get people going for distribution. My absolutely. friend AJ mm -hmm. produced this David Crosby movie. Remember my name? Yeah. yeah. Oh, and well, yeah. he directed it. Yeah. Cameron Crowe produced it. Yeah. Mm -hmm. But uh, they took it to Sundance, and yeah. within 45 minutes, they had a really? Sony bought it. Yeah. yeah. Sony oh, made a deal. Oh, sweet. Yeah. So I, I think... I it's think, hard to get... Hard, yeah. Well, see, so... Yeah, so... But with your name and... and, and, and uh, Jeez, I, I I mean I can't imagine anybody not being interested. We can submit, you know, in your story. There's so much, so much good work out there. Like I said, there's hundreds and hundreds of films being 
submitted in the film festivals, you know? So yeah. um, we're at the film collaborative and they have a list of 20, top, the first 20 that we're going for. Uh, you know, I think it's a niche film in terms of it's LGBT, it's identity. Mm -hmm. And there's a lot of places it will really, really work. It, now there's an awareness film festival coming up in LA this month. Oh, later this month. Uh, Do you know if you've been about, submitted to that? It, it, it would have been submissions are so far in advance. Yeah, they're way yeah. in yeah, advance. Yeah, 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 yeah. We missed it. And you I'm have sure to strategize, and you and everyone wants you know, it to be a premiere, and it can only be right. a premiere at one. Right. So this right. is what you do when you're when you're a filmmaker. You try yeah. and figure out what's the best strategy. Yeah, I hate premieres. I was I, I was in a movie once, and it was so bad. We were flying to New York for the premiere. They were showing it on the plane. Mm -hmm. <laughs> That's how bad Not before the movie you was. Even, yeah. before, you, before we even got to the premiere. Yeah. Yeah. That sounds like something Ronnie Shaw would steal. I hate premieres. <laughs> Ronnie would steal that. <laughs> that's funny oh that's funny all right we're gonna do facebook feed time and facebook i think everyone will enjoy facebook feed time today yeah it this is my mo oh, my mother's friend oh my goodness. let's do it my goodness mother's friend gracious. barbara lyon posted Aww. this and it says psychologist discovers that dogs dream about the humans they love now oh. I, I didn't click wow. on the article but how, i wonder how they okay. how do you figure out what a dog is dreaming or well is it just the most self-centered person in the world who imagines that their dog is dreaming about him? The D dog blog. Dog blog. All right. Dog blog. <laughs> no, so, I, love, huh? I love what your mom wrote. So my, I love oh, you can read wrote. what my mom wrote. At yeah. first I was dog like, blog. wow, so, who wrote that? And then it was yeah, my mom. It was your mom. <laughs> can I read it? Yes, please. <laughs> so that's why Emile farted throughout her dreams. <laughs> <laughs> or Emily. 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 Our dog's name Emily. is Emily. Uh, and she, you know, she you know, she got <laughs> up there and sometimes dogs don't realize they're gently passing gas. And uh, yeah. yeah, that and wasn't then, gentle. Yeah. <laughs> gently. So any dog owners here? Up to, yeah. Yeah. No. Not at the moment. But Not these, at the moment. Yeah. Dogs in the family. Does your I dog? You think your dog dreams dogs. about you? Or I, loves you I enough only, to dream about? I him? hope so. Of yeah. course. Yeah. When I see her dreaming, I think oh, that's about me. Yeah. <laughs> you know, not everything's <laughs> not about Sarah. me. But, <laughs> not Jane. everything's about me, but that's about yeah. me. <laughs> is, is it? Is it? Go ahead, Lane. It seems like a really safe study to put out because no one's gonna who's gonna contest yeah, it yeah no one's gonna like That's hear true. it he's gonna right. and be like actually no source <laughs> yeah. like everyone's Lassie. just gonna be like all right sure good thing yeah, why not good thing dogs can't text <laughs> otherwise we'd be just yeah. See. Oh my God. I love that. And that's the kind of article you can publish and you know people are going to click on it. So it's like, oh, because dog oh. lovers want to believe that their dog is dreaming about that. Sure. Yeah. Yeah. Right. Yeah. But then someone had to sit down and say, like, how do I get uh, enough money for this study to figure out what dogs are dreaming about? Well, they made the movie The Art of Racing in the Rain, and that's from a dog's point of view. Mm -hmm. You know, I haven't seen lovely. that film yet, but. Oh, the book is wonderful. Is it a wonderful book? Yeah, yeah it's, it's all about it's a, a dog read. with human human thoughts. Well, dogs oh. probably they probably <laughs> do have. I missed yeah. that one. <laughs> the review. Rotten Tomatoes <laughs> gave it two paws up. Uh, <laughs> yeah. Yay, Danny! Yay. No, hey, no, Danny. no, that was beneath me. All right, <laughs> that was I a Ronnie would... Shell line. <laughs> he wouldn't steal that. Is there no, anything we need to plug before we go, kids? No, but I have. Yeah. Oh. I, can I ask a question to Sarah yeah. and Jamie? Mm -hmm. Oh, sure. Ooh. Do you guys can I just can I just mention who your daughter is? Nothing else. Yes, please. Mm -hmm. Is that okay? <laughs> They've sure. met her. Yeah. 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 So, so the daughter is the, is the very famous pop star Haley Kiyoko, right? Mm -hmm. Yeah. And I remember when well I, when they were born. Yes. And I told <laughs> we were there. Sarah this. Yeah. We were at I think you're at the house in Westchester. Mm -hmm. were, were the kids born there? Uh -huh. yeah. All of them. Yes. Yeah. 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 Mm -hmm. yeah. 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 Yes. Yes. And we had gone for a music meeting. Ty was coming and stuff. And and little Haley, she was naked. She, she was standing, so she, she was must usually have, naked then. And yeah. she might have been two, maybe or oh something. Oh my god! And she was, that was and before she was, clothes. And before we introduced her to clothing. <laughs> And there was a piano, and there was a piano bench, and she was on there playing the piano, oh bouncing my God. around, yeah. naked. Mm -hmm. And yeah. it was the most, and I don't think I had seen her maybe once uh -huh. before we ran into her at an event, and she had already hit it. Did she have uh, clothes on? She, yeah. She finally Not found much. She, she found yeah. <laughs> Not, yeah. And this is just a couple of years. You know, uh, it's amazing. Uh, yeah. Willie's party oh, you know, yeah, for right. Sarah. That's uh -huh. the first time I'd seen her, I think, in years, and I was so proud of her. But she's one of the top pop artists in the country, if not the world, and she has this LGBT following. 
What's Huge. it like? What's it like to be a parent of someone like that? Trailblazer. Oh, wow. Yeah, it was. You know, you she know. was always a creator from when she was naked and two and <laughs> and dancing, and she would do these shows uh, for you know you all the time, constantly for her whole life long, and and then so it became natural that she wanted to keep creating on on a larger level and reach more people and now she's she's found her voice we never I'll she's say. found yeah. her voice we never had a co- awesome. we never had a coffee table yeah. in our living room because no. our living room was the rehearsal hall <laughs> right. Yeah. Right. Was. right i mean she and then i built a studio for her. she started writing music when she was 12 oh boy wow. and i built a studio for her uh, in, in the garage took three quarters of the garage and built a soundproof studio because the neighbors had been complaining yeah. she was a drummer she oh, was a drummer. Oh, I didn't know that. Oh, yeah. She was originally okay, a drummer. That was her first from, instrument. From the really? age of Drums, six. Yeah. Okay. From the age of six. And, but what I'm most proud of, Randy and, and Ty and everybody here, is that she changes lives. She right. with her her she's a queer woman who speaks about it and is you know out and proud. And she wants is, to normalize is it. A, right. Trying she is to normalize, normalize it. She is. Uh-huh. And uh-huh. and she makes people at her concerts feel comfortable Mm -hmm. in their own skin and when people say well you must be so proud of her she's such a great songwriter i love her music or i love her directing and but what i'm most proud of is that she does have an impact on Mm. the world well isn't that wonderful we're in in a world that we have a world now where where someone like that can do that that. right yeah Yeah. Yeah. i think that ty and randy prepared these two to expect extraordinary (laughs) children (laughs) I think so. I don't know about that. I think well, people like that. Sarah's people laughing. Like that. I, I don't know where it's our just a theory. children came from. <laughs> yeah. yeah. It was all us. But it's I think it's fun. True. And what it's, I always wonder what a parent. What it's like is fun. Someone like it's that. fun. Mm-hmm, mm-hmm. She'll call and I'll want her to be on speakerphone. Yeah. Because I want her to share her day with us. Right. Oh, and and she's, it's just like, like like calling mommy and dad, right? Because yeah, her dad. days are yeah. incredible. Yeah. Well, yeah. You know, and, she seems and that for way. her to be able to um, share her inner thoughts um, from a business standpoint and mm-hmm. just talk to us is it, it transcends being a parent and a child. Yeah. You know, right. it's just now we're just like equals. Is she more equal? Wow. Right. You know, and it's really, it's very heartwarming. Is she, and Is and she a, more comfortable in clothing now? She is. Oh, <laughs> well, yeah, I guess. Uh, I don't know. Too. Only when she's not <laughs> playing the piano. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. It, it, but, but thanks for the question, Randy. Yeah. Oh, and they have very three sweet. It's it's wonderful fun. children. Oh, they and do, yeah. I, I yeah. do think that your kids get to an age where it's more you're more of a sounding board mm-hmm. for the adult that they are oh, yeah. Yeah. with all, th- so with all your right. kids and, yeah and you have you know. no control yes. but this them. particular child yeah. is like well taylor says you know and it's yeah it's just, the stories <laughs> are a little different yeah. 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 And bob yeah. and accounting yeah. taylor says, yeah. Taylor yeah. says. Yeah. 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 i talked to katie today she like, yeah. 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 Taylor's she too. well before her, her video <laughs> taylor called her for advice on this right. new video that wow. she said and she was no, like let me pa- call my you, parents for advice and then i'll have advice for no, you no she didn't no she didn't yeah. <laughs> no well, i want to thank everyone for being with us our marvelous guests ty babylonian randy yes. gardner and sarah kawahara so fun. thank you to jamie outcroft and danny mann our tech team is lane mcfadden and yeah. thomas boop, hubble boop. thank you guys that's thank you and, awesome. and that's thomas we have the handsomest crew in the business. Yes. For Thomas. We do. Our sound mixer is John Maddox. Our producer is Dina Friedman. Our webmaster yay. is Bill Filippiak. We will be back in two weeks because I am going on vacation with oh, Mr. Yay. Husband on a cruise. Where are you going? Nice. Are you going yeah. from Montreal oh. down to New York Harbor. No, nice. Oh, nice, 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 nice. By boat? On a, um, <laughs> a ship of food. <laughs> Yes, yeah, so the, the, the Erie Canal is gorgeous. It's, it's a very nice time. Very eerie. I am Louise Palenker. Be safe, be well, be kind.